that's what I've done in this program sx record. It's a vari variant of curly, so it has the usual numv and closeV, but it also has listv for lists and simv for symbols, and we already had numbers. And then we have lots of new expression forms. So these are there's lots, but they're all pretty straightforward. We've seen how to make cons first and rest. We've done that kind of thing before. We're also going to add the predicates empty and cons uh, and symbol and number so that uh, a curly program that manipulates us expressions can do different things based on whether it sees a symbol or a number or a list constructed with the cons and so on. Uh, we'll also have a symbol equal so that we can compare two symbols just as we've sometimes added number equal to things. And finally we're going to have a quote form. So a quote form uh, is lets us write symbols but also lets us write quote curly brace and a bunch of stuff close curly brace. So we're adding all of these things to, uh, to curly but they're not deep complicated things. But it's the kind of things that we've seen before. So here's the parser. It works in the usual way. You know, empty is empty e of parse of second e. The one slightly interesting one here is quote e, where there's quote of any s expression, and this is a plate level s expression. We're going to put inside of quote e a plate level s expression. We don't further parse that because it's not supposed to be parsed. It's not a it's not a curly expression yet. It's just a uh, at the curly level an s expression, and we can use plate level s expressions to represent that. If we go down to the interpreter, then again, most of it is straightforward. Uh, you have seen implementations of cons, and first, you know, first needs a list v, and as long as it's not an empty list v, then it can return the first, and rest can return the rest, and so on. The interesting one, again, is quote, because quote has a plate s expression, but we need to turn that into a curly value. So we need a curly value that reflects the same thing as the plate s expression. And we do that with this helper function, sx to value. It says, if you had a plate s expression number, then turn that into a curly number. A plate s expression symbol, turn it into a curly symbol. A plate s expression list, then make a curly list by mapping the conversion over all of the elements of the s expression list, and so on. And if we do that, we can write lots of tests, um, uh, example programs that involve um, that involve uh, sort of looking at s expression and counting the number of s x's in an s expression, for example. At the moment, um, we haven't added let macro yet. We've just added s expressions, and we can write examples that manipulate s expressions. So count x is here is a recursive function that goes and counts up all the x's. And so there's four of them here. That's why we expect to get four out. Right? And again, this is all in curly braces. So this is a curly, rec uh, curly program that's manipulating this curly s expression here.